Hello, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel. And today we're discussing my latest acquisition, the Patek Philippe World Time. It's the Patek World Time. And uh, today we're going to discuss, did I make the right decision? And I want to talk to my good friend, the Sucker Horn, the Sucker Horn. And it's a very, very difficult decision I had to make. I've uh, got rid of my um, yellow gold Submariner and I've upgraded to a um, Patek Philippe World Time. It's a very interesting watch and um, it's a it's a very, very um, difficult decision. So uh, I want to talk to the audience and to, to, to the Fuckerhorn to see whether I've done the right thing. The gold, gold world time. And uh, some people would say, how could you get rid of the gold submariner? That was such an archy luxury type of piece. But uh, hey, sometimes, sometimes you go to bigger and better. Onwards and upwards, fuckers. Onwards and upwards, fuckers. So, uh, Yes, that's that's the way it's gone there, and uh, I got to tell you, it's a very interesting decision to make. Should I have done it or not done it? And uh, I, I want to bring I want to bring my good friend the fucker horn on. We'll just see if we can get this this fucker to respond. Hey, John, I sent you the link. I'm live now. Okay, Jono. Yeah, just coming on now, mate. Thank you. We're going to talk to John. John's a man who loves a bit of yellow gold. And uh, I got to tell you, many moons ago when I did get rid of my last Patek, the Calatrava, John was very anti me getting the sub. He said, ah, oh, it's a sub now. Yeah, but you got rid of the... He was very anti that decision. And uh, I'd, I'd love, love to hear from uh, John to see what he thinks of my latest my latest dilemmas and it's it's always a tricky thing see i i would love to keep all these watches but uh hey fuckers it doesn't work that way i can't afford to keep everything it's uh it's it's a very tricky thing i can't i can't keep everything i gotta fucking i gotta fucking i gotta fucking turn stuff over i gotta bring interesting content and uh, the, the world time itself, it's 37 mil. Yes, go Tiwi. Yes, 37 mil. Uh, and I got to tell you, it's, it's a cool fucking piece there. It's very cool. The 5110, which came out early 2000s, then they made a new model, the 5130, which was, I think, about 2007. <laughs> And uh, now we've got the fucker horn. And now they've done, they've got the 5230. John, I want to ask you, you're my favorite, favorite yellow gold man. Tell me this. For me to get rid of the gold submariner and get the world tie. Give me your opinion, big boy. Give me your no, opinion. No, no mistake at all. No mistake no at all. No mistake. Uh, Progressive. Not not a mistake. I, I go for the world time every day of the week, personally. But that, that's just me. No problems at all there, own. John. There is there is uh, less physical no gold. There's less physical gold. I'm going to have a beer if you don't mind. I'm. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm drinking, Jono. I am drinking. Yeah. I'm drinking Miller Chill. Have you ever had those? Well, what is it? Yeah. What flavor is it? Lime. What? It's got it's got lime. It's a Miller beer with a bit of lime in it. Bit yeah, of lime, right real lime. What's the right right <laughs> So the question is, John, did I make the right decision? What do you think? Tell me, John, what you think? What yeah, do you think, no John? Contest, no, no contest. Yeah, you know, like, like, I must admit, you know, the gold, you know, the, you know, the gold subby does suit me, but you know, like, Archie Luxury wears it. No else. Pimps and pimps and 
and it yeah, is a what, cool watch, it. John. It is super cool. Yeah. It is super cool. It is super cool, Jono. And and uh, I, I'm I'm very I, I don't I don't know whether I've made the right decision, Jono. I wouldn't be worried about making the right decision. You've made the right decision, in my opinion. There's no yes. question. No, in, in my opinion, you've made the right decision. Now I want to talk to you about something else, John. Yeah. I want to talk to you about class and being a monger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now there are fraudsters out there who say there are fraudsters out there who say. Archie's a buffoon. He's got Thai videos. They've made fun of me, but I got better watches than them. Yeah. yeah. And the same can be said about you, John. You've got some amazing paintings. You've got paintings that belong in art galleries. But these people would say you're a monger. You don't, you know, I don't know what they would say. These people just think because... Because you are a monger, you can't love quality art and quality things. That's right. That's right. You know, well, I think Lord Luxury put up a, you know, a specific rendition about that, Lord of Luxury. He put a, a I love Lord of it. Luxury. I love his voice. He's got a cool voice. The yank. The yank. Sounds like a you know, relatively young bloke and he's maybe... Yep. Get Horatio to... Nelson, Lord Luxury here. I love his starts. I love the way he does his videos. That's him. He did a rendition on that, and uh, I put up a little bit of a parody of it and something like that. But he, I think he's on the money. There's a little bit more to life than just watches. You know, you know if you're talking about So, John, I want to ask you this. Can you be a monger, a monger's monger, <clears> and <throat> appreciate beautiful artwork? That's what I want to ask you. Oh, yeah. Because well, some of can... these, some of these people with pretend yeah. families, and who claim, claim all sorts of aristocratic connections, claim oh, you yeah. can't. Well, that all all this stuff was sold off by the granddad, wasn't it? They went to the wall. You know, that's a certain circumstance we're talking about. You know, he had nothing to put his fingers on. Yeah, you know, like. Oh God! Yeah, like art. You know, art is one of those things. You know, what you find to be appealing. You know, to your eye. You know, others may not. Yeah, like yes. who's that bloke that wrote? Who's that bloke that did blue poles? What was his name? In the sixties, that picture of Pollack. Like Pollack. 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 They were Pollacks. Who? Blue poles. Polex. Pollack was the blue. Po the yes. I can't remember the book. A girl, will you? Yeah. It was Pollack. It Pollack. Was... Pollack. No, it wasn't. Google blue poles. It wasn't Pollack. Google, will you? I couldn't be bothered moving at this Jackson day. Pollack. Jackson Pollack. No, did, how do you spell his name? It was a Jackson Pollack. Do you understand? How do you spell his surname? P O L L O C K. Jackson Pollock. Pollock. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, Pollock. What... Jackson Pollock, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, anyway, they clear, they, 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 they reckon that was beautiful. Yeah, it looks like somebody just threw a few buckets of paint over a big canvas, that's all. Yeah. You know, that's, that's artistic. Bit different to painting someone's face, I reckon. You know, like you paint, you know, paint someone's face and trying to get the character of their, you know, their soul is a bit different to throwing a few buckets of, you know, you know, Dulux over it with a fucking fly sprock, you know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know, John. Greg's up and put blue poles, you know. What do we pay six mil for it? You know, it's not bad. It's worth 240 now. <clears throat> you, know, you wouldn't put it in your shit house for mine. Hangs, hangs pride of place in Australian Parliament. That was a good investment. Well done, Goff. <laughs> yeah, too bad about... Mark and Jesus. So, Jono, uh, I wanted to ask you there. Can we come back and do a bag on Tony Abbott? 
If we come back with a new vid and give Tony Abbott a bit of stick, I'd like to do that. Okay, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. So, okay, John, let's wind this one up. Thank you so much, Jono. We'll be back very soon. Yeah. Okay, John.